backfields, not Dak Prescott. It's a little bit about Zeke Elliott and then a little bit about another guy who I think is a rising star and we've talked about as a show a lot. Jerry Jones is talking about him now. He was asked this weekend about his backfield, Tony Pollard, Ezekiel Elliott, and he says this is all a great thing in his appearance with 105.3 The Fan. Have a listen. You do what makes the first down, or you do what gets the most yards or ultimately wins the game, and that's where it all all comes. Um, uh, the facts are that uh, uh, we're, we really have an outstanding uh, situation here that uh, uh, Pollard gets up on him so fast and can uh, it really surprise the, uh, surprise the defense. He's stronger than he looks, but uh, he just has got so sudden and got such a burst. And then uh, Zach, Zeke, you don't even need to describe him. He's as, he's as uh, powerful in terms of, uh, I'm going to overuse the word, but his burst, I mean to tell you, he punishes the hell out of those defenders. And that's going to be a, uh, that, that's going to be a, uh, both of those are going to be a real staple for us as we get into the season. Good Morning Football is presented by Old Trapper. What's your beef? All right, so there's the Old Trapper getting the pile on. You're not supposed to reach for it anymore, but let's get to your beef presented by Old Trapper. And let's just pick up right there what Mr. Jones was talking about because I think he's half right. There's a fascinating thing going on in the Cowboys' backfield right now. And I think it's a lot like uh, the Cowboys have this very fancy, expensive laptop that is Zeke Elliott, and they keep getting these notices, update, update, update. And you can, no, 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 stop. I don't want to update. That's Tony Pollard. And they're saying, I will help you run better. Trust me. Go with it. I'm the new thing. And they keep ignoring it. Um, right now, Ezekiel Elliott is playing more than Tony Pollard for three reasons. His contract, his fame, and his contract. <laughs> Among those reasons is not his game or his tape. But I do not want to beat up on Ezekiel Elliott. This is more about championing Tony Pollard. Put on a Cowboys game right now, guys. This weekend, put on a Cowboys game and watch for 10 minutes. You will find that the Cowboys offense, the Cowboys running game is fresher, faster, and bolder when Tony Pollard is on the field for Ezekiel Elliott. And this is not a new thing. This is going on for a couple of years now, and nobody has wanted to say it. Now it's starting to be talked about. And if you don't trust those optics, if you don't trust my opinion, trust the numbers. Let's take a look at some stats just this season. That's Zeke on the left, Tony Pot on the right. Look at the yards per carry. 3876. Look at the rushing long. Look at the first downs. Let's take a broader look back. The most explosive runs for the Cowboys since Tony Pollard was drafted. Here's all of them listed. This is the one that kills me. Tony Pollard, 44. Dak Prescott, 42. Tony Pollard, Tony Pollard, Tony Pollard. Zeke Elliott, 33. Sixth on the list. They're just not there. The fact is that Zeke's fame and his reputation, I think, are still living off the equity from many, many, many years ago. Came in was a rookie superstar. He had it all going. He jumped in a kettle. He ate with a spoon. He had a cool name and cool hair and cool crop top and all of that. Tony Pollard doesn't have any of that. You know what he can give you? He can't give you cool. He can give you second and four. And don't the Cowboys have enough cool? Haven't they had enough cool? Haven't they printed enough jerseys? Maybe print some banners by playing the best player at every position independent of dollars and followers and jerseys sold. And I will end with this. Jerry Jones had his instincts on this. Back in 29, when Zeke was holding out, he didn't trust his instincts because in every joke, there is a kernel of truth. And I think this tape is scorching hot in the freezing cold take factor. Watch this from 2019. Is Pollard your best negotiator with Zeke? Who? Pollard. That Zeke who? <laughs> <laughs> He's got your camera. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's why he's a Hall of Famer. That's why he's beloved. But the question was, isn't Pollard your best leverage over Zeke? And then we laugh about it. He was your best leverage. They signed him an irresponsible contract, and here we are years later, and the second best running back is still starting. Guys, it's one who went fourth overall, one who went in the fourth round. Go with the guy who doesn't give you fourth down, and it's number 20. That's Be my beef. Before you go, Peter, what is your beef? with this like those things are all there are that might be true and they sign him to a contract now you can't do anything about that what is your beef with the situation the, the, the entire situation from start to finish the tony pollard should be playing more he should be playing earlier more. she's the better running back oh yeah first first series second series like he's the starter Got by it. every metric except fame and contracts we've had countless countless times in the league mm -hmm. where there is a player taken in the first round and a player taken in the fourth round immediately i think of 
Robert Griffin III is the second overall pick, and mm-hmm. Kirk Cousins is a fourth round sure. pick. And Cousins was better. The owner wants to see Griffin out yeah. there yeah. because that's my second round pick. But Cousins was better every day, and eventually the coach won out. I don't think the money matters anymore. Mm. It's already been spent. It's already gone. I think to them, it's what gives us the best opportunity. And Kyle, not to bring down the tone or not to put cold do, water on it. They had 198 yards rushing on, on Sunday mm-hmm. against a good Chargers front. They made, you know, Joey Bosa did nothing. Uh, Tillery did nothing. They were running up mm-hmm. and down, up and down. It was almost like they were interchangeable. Is there a beef if it's working as a collective? And Tony Pollard doesn't seem outraged by the fact he's not getting these carries. Well, Tony Pollard's not going to say squat. He's not that kind of guy. Zeke should absolutely be part of the offense. Of course. Zeke should be the change of pace back. Absolutely. Tony Pollard should be the first option. And I mean that. This whole, Vic, used to be known for the salsa dance and we love him. We talk about it all the time. Zeke has been known for this eating thing. When's the last time he's done that, earnestly? That's been years. And again, I don't want to beat up on Zeke. He has assets. He brings things to the table. I'm just saying he's the second best and Pollard should be the star. Yeah, I think for me, I mean, you know, it's tough for me to talk about two different backs because I played on a team with Brandon Jacobs and Amar Bradshaw. Mm. Sure. They made it work, right? We made it work. And they made it work for years. Now, they had to obviously put a ton of egos aside and they loved each other and they were here for the betterment of the football team. But I think it's tough to, like, you know, make Tony Pollard your starter because... You know, again, Ezekiel's getting paid a lot of money. And to your credit, all that money ain't spent just yet. Like, there's still some money that has to be divvied out over the next couple of years. Now, it'll be interesting to see. Again, it's only two weeks. Like, talk to me after Tony Pollard is there. Two months. What do those numbers look like then? Is it a substantial difference between the two? Yes, it is right now. But Tony just had a better game than Zeke did maybe week two. I think we have to look at it. Talk to me around week eight and see what those numbers look like. And then Mm -hmm. I can create a bigger picture Mm -hmm. as to what this looks like. But I think there's room for both of them. Do I think Ezekiel needs more? Ezekiel does more than Tony Pollard out of the backfield. Catching the football, they need to incorporate him more that way. Instead of just handing him the ball and people pinning their ears back and coming downhill to get him, I think they need to incorporate Ezekiel differently throughout the mm. throughout the offense. To Kyle's point, it's been going on not just this these first two weeks of the season, but to your point, you just had this incredible thing, and I'm like, and you say that to say what? That it's a good problem. I completely agree with Jerry Jones here. The money is spent. The contract is, is you know, let's say they made a mistake with Zeke. Okay, well, now it's pretty cool that you have a guy named Tony Pollard who can come in there and they can get the run game going. I throw the game against the Bucks out because it wasn't even in the game plan to use Zeke. And you look at him. Was he bad against? Was Zeke bad against the Chargers? He, he just wasn't. wasn't as good. No, as he was Tony. not bad. Ninety-seven total yards, a touchdown on eighteen touches. Would Tony Pollard, in your opinion, as a running back? Mm-hmm. Would he be as effective if he wasn't splitting? You know, that's, that would be my question. Would Tony Pollard be as effective as a runner and what he's doing and the production he's bringing to this offense if he didn't have Zeke there? No, and because to, I'm not saying Tony cool Pollard is a 30-carry guy. Okay. No, not at all. But this has gone on for two years. We showed a graphic that had the most explosive plays since 2019, so now we're in year three. This is what I want from Tony Pollard, and I'll finish with this. They play Monday, they play Monday night, right? Yes, Monday night against, uh, against Philadelphia. I want him on the, on the field for the big drives. I want him on the field for the game-winning drive and the first drive because he is better by every metric of running back, and it's not a new thing. The, 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 fa- the fascinating part of it is it's the Cowboys, and is fame playing a factor? Yeah. There's a lot of 21 jerseys in the crowd. Do they want him out there because of that? Because if that's the case, well, you're not winning squat this year. You don't think so? This past week didn't give you so much encouragement that, like, this backfield can work, that it's it's not a bad thing that Tony Pollard is good? No. it's You just I, want him to start ahead of him. I want him to get more carries it. and more meaningful drives. I want him to be the can, starter. Because he's I, better. Can I chime in with one last thing? Yeah. It's just like football inside the weeds. Like, yeah. what do you got? Zeke's one of the best black blocking mm. running backs in the entire NFL. And See? you have him out there, and he can block in the passing game. He can block in the running game. Out of point. Um, but yeah, Tony Pollard does have some spark to him. <laughs> Pollard can block too. Who do you want out there on third down? Third and third and games on the line, third down drive, or maybe before Oof. the half, third down and short five. Who do you want out there? Tony Look, if or? Zeke is a better pass blocker, put him out there. Okay. It's it's not about third. It's not first and ten for me. Like that's the down for Tony Pollard. The Zeke thing, it, it, it's not. It's it's a few years ago now. I, I don't want to beat up on the guy. It's just not there, guys. Yeah. And again, it's not about Zeke, it's about how much you like Tony. Love Pollard. You've been saying that not just this season. Yeah, I get you a jersey. Way back I know. Here. All <laughs> right. Knew? 